how to make or how I made a steam box to bend wood. Let's get into it. After spending hours researching heat sources, durable water to steam chambers, and all of the DIY ways to connect the two, I realized I also had a lot of wrinkly clothes and ended up finding a clothes steamer that would also serve as the steam source for this steam box. To build the box or steam chamber, I used four inch PVC pipe and rubber gaskets to connect and cap the chamber. I drew a line all the way down the side of the PVC to mark the location for some half inch dowel rods that would serve as interior shelves. Then I measured and marked the end location for the mirroring shelf mount on the other side. This was positioned well below the mid diameter of the pipe. With the marks in place, I used a half inch Forstner bit and a rough jig to place a few shelf mount holes on either side. Then, using a half inch dowel, I placed a few shelf racks throughout the steam chamber. To make sure my chamber was long enough, I did the same process twice and connected the two prepped PVC pipes with a rubber gasket. On one end, I fit just a four inch rubber gasket. This would be the side I'd use to open and place the wood. With that in place, I drilled a few pressure relief holes on the underside of the steam chamber. With the steam chamber in good shape, I set about putting together the simple table mount. I started by cutting two pairs of two two by fours down to just under two feet at a 45 degree angle on one end. Then I measured and marked the center point of the two pieces for each pair and anchored them together in an X shape. I then added a quick brace between the pair of X's to make the steam chamber a little more sturdy. For the steam access point, I used a rubber gasket to add a four inch to six inch PVC pipe fitting to the open end of the chamber. Then cut an X shape into the six inch rubber end cap to make room for the head of the closed steamer. With the chamber ready, all that was left to do was test it out. The chamber temperature set right at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit or so, and I let the wood cook for a few hours before attempting to bend it around the form. I'd call that a success. Stay tuned for the DIY of the modular breakfast bar and matching stool set where I put this steam box to good use in the coming next few weeks. Until next time.